Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Heightstown in Notre Dame is being brought to you by Princeton Orthopedic Associates. Heightstown visiting Notre Dame. We picked this one up at the half. Rams leading it 20-0. Notre Dame coming out of the break, fired up. Heightstown about to get the big game when the ball comes loose. And Pat Jones is going to scoop this one up to let the Fighting Irish offense take over. Quarterback Robbie Bucher will make the most of the opportunity as he puts together a couple clutch third down conversions. First with this completion through the air. Then Bucher's going to roll out. Doesn't like what he sees, so he's going to take it himself to move the chains. And on the very next play, Bucher hands it off to Coleon Williams, who finds the hole, and that's going to be an easy six for number one. Irish not just clicking on offense, their defense was able to shut down the Rams to force a punt on the next drive. Notre Dame back in the red zone a few plays later, and Williams is going to have his number called again as he gets his second of the game. Fighting Irish trail by just six, with under three to go in the third. Heistown trying to get their offense going, but Notre Dame staying strong on D to close out the quarter. Then in the fourth, Matt DeCristofaro is going to get the handoff, and he's going to blow past everyone as he has six waiting for him. Rams now lead it 26-14. Fighting Irish had a couple good fumble opportunities late in the game, but they were unable to come up with them. And there will be no comeback. Heightstown hangs on to wrap this one up. 26 to 14 is your final. The Rams end a 40 year drought against Notre Dame to keep their playoff hopes alive. Their next game should be interesting. They will take on the Ewing Blue Devils, who have the same record. Notre Dame drops to 2 and 6. Fighting Irish have one more game left on the schedule, and it should be a good one as they make the trip to Lenape to face the Indians. Now let's head over to Ewing, where the Blue Devils host Princeton for a Friday night clash. 